Hello there SpyBot users and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team SpyBot and I'm here today to give you a demonstration of the beta version of the new SpyBot Andy Beacon. Welcome to today's video on using the beta version of the new SpyBot Anti Beacon. This version is currently only available to closed beta users, but will be released to all users in the near future. This version incorporates the new look and feel and SpyBot design that will be used in SpyBot 3. SpyBot Anti Beacon is used to prevent telemetry data from being sent to Microsoft. We believe that users should be able to decide on which information is sent to Microsoft or not, which is why we developed SpyBot Anti Beacon. The first step of today's tutorial is to open up SpyBot Anti Beacon. If you are a closed beta user, you should have received email instructions on how to download and install SpyBot Anti Beacon. Double click on the SpyBot Anti Beacon desktop or taskbar icon to launch SpyBot Anti Beacon. Select yes when prompted by the user account control, then wait for Anti Beacon to load. Once Anti Beacon launches, we are presented with the Anti Beacon interface. In the center is the progress wheel. This will show you the progress of the current or last immunization. Beneath the progress wheel it lists the number of blocked telemetry items. This shows how many items out of the total number of selected items have been protected during immunization and after it is finished running. Anti Beacon gives you the option to customize which immunizers you are going to use and allows you to decide on which information should or should not be sent to Microsoft. You can view the available immunizers by clicking on the Customize button. In Windows 10, Anti Beacon gives 23 immunizer options. These include telemetry hosts, OneDrive Group Policy, Bing IPs, and many more. Beside each immunizer, it lists how many items belong to that particular immunizer. There are three predefined settings that you can choose to use with Anti Beacon. There is Minimal, which immunizes against the most important forms of telemetry and prevents them from being sent to Microsoft. The items that are included will be shown with the slide in the on position. The next setting is recommended. This includes recommended settings from Safer Networking as well as the minimal settings. The full option allows you to block all of the telemetry data that is possible with Anti Beacon. This will prevent any telemetry data from being sent to Microsoft. We are first going to choose the minimal protection option, then press done. This will return us to the main window and immunization will begin. We now see that immunization has been performed. The progress wheel shows that immunization was successful. The inner blue line represents the number of protected items in relation to the total number of items that can be immunized. Underneath the Customize button, it lists 10 out of 10 items are protected, which is the number of items available with the minimal option. If you would like to change the level of protection, you can click on the Customize button again and select a different protection setting. This time we are going to click on Recommended, then press Done. Immunization is now complete. It now says 19 out of 19 items are protected. If you want to configure full protection, you can return to the Customize screen and select Full, then press Done to begin immunization. We now see that 148 out of 148 items have been protected, and the inner blue line in the progress wheel is now complete, showing that full protection is enabled. If something has been blocked which you did not want, which could be preventing a certain application from working that you would like to use, for example OneDrive, you can return to the customize screen and undo the option for OneDrive. To do this, scroll down to the two immunizers for OneDrive, then move the slider into the off position. Then select done and the changes will come into effect. It now lists 145 out of 145 items protected. If you would like to undo any of the changes made by Anti Beacon, you can click on the customize button again then click on None to undo Anti Beacon's immunization. Select Done to go ahead with the changes. Again, this will return us to the main Anti Beacon window, and the immunized entry should become unimmunized once again. It now lists 0 out of 0 items protected, and the progress wheel is empty once again to show that the Anti Beacon immunization has been undone. 
You can now decide on which level of protection to use or what items to include in a custom selection for immunization using Spybot Anti-Beacon. So that's it for today's video on using the beta version of the new Spybot Anti-Beacon. I'd like to thank you all for watching and hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any comments or queries, please get in touch by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page in the support center on our website. I've been Rob from Team Spybot. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe, keep on searching, keep on destroying. See you guys soon.